A fast food employee has been charged with starting fires at the restaurant where she worked. The state will be getting millions of dollars to fight opioid addiction, and a local venue has been given a sign. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by WM Grocery, located in Heflin, Wadawi, Roanoke, and in Piedmont. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Studham. Katie Edwards has the evening off. The assistant manager of Jack's in Jacksonville has been charged with arson in a Halloween night fire at the restaurant, according to a news release from the Jacksonville Police and Fire Departments. Officials say Charity Moore, 49, was arrested Friday and charged with first-degree arson. She's currently being held in the Calhoun County Jail on a $60,000 bond. Arson in the first degree is a felony. City emergency crews responded to a structure fire call of that restaurant about 9 o'clock Thursday night. When they got there, they found that wall-mounted toilet paper rolls in both bathrooms had been set on fire, and that fire was spreading to the walls above. Investigators from the police and fire departments independently narrowed their search to a suspect to an employee of that restaurant, leading to Moore's arrest. Jacksonville Police Chief Marcus Wood says investigators believe this was an isolated incident and they do not believe there are any other cases tied to this suspect. One of the region's largest meeting spaces is showing a sign of progress. We'll have the details in a moment. Since 1993, WM Grocery has been a major part of our local community. WM offers the very best in fresh produce and an outstanding meat department. WM also has many local products not found anywhere else and fresh sushi every day. If you need an event catered, come see Mrs. K at any WM store. Curbside pickup is also available for your online grocery orders. Be sure to download the WM app for all the deals of the week and shopper rewards. Go check them out today at any of their locations. We take pride in our community and appreciate your business. Getting my car serviced is easier than ever with Buster Miles Automotive Group in Cleburne and Calhoun County. They pick up my car, service it, and deliver it back. Convenient, efficient, and top quality. Schedule your service today and see why Buster Miles Automotive Group is the smart choice. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Oxford Lumber. Come visit any of our locations in Oxford, Jacksonville, Talladega, and Roanoke. A new electronic message sign has been placed in front of the Anniston City Meeting Center. That sign is just one of the improvements now being made at the center, which hosts seminars, company meetings, conferences, and other local events. It also has accommodations for banquets, socials, parties, and receptions. The former grocery store building has the most meeting space in Calhoun County, and it features the 13,000 square foot Anniston Hall, three conference rooms with seating capacities between 100 and 150 people each, and the Victoria Room for executive meetings. Alabama is one of 30 states that will share in a $1.37 billion settlement agreement with Kroger, addressing the grocery chain's role in the opioid crisis. Alabama will receive up to $19.8 million to be used for opioid abasement, with payments anticipated to begin early next year. Attorney General Steve Marshall says the announcement of the settlement this week reaffirms the state's ongoing commitment to address this epidemic. Before the Kroger settlement, Alabama had already reached settlements totaling over $730 million to resolve claims against drug manufacturers and other entities over their roles in the opioid crisis. Veterans Day is just around the corner, and several preliminary activities are planned for this weekend. We'll tell you what they are in just a minute. For over 60 years, Oxford Lumber has been servicing our area, and our customer service has always been our main focus. Our customer service is what sets us apart from anyone else. From the moment you enter, our highly trained staff will treat you like family. 
to enthusiastically provide total customer satisfaction within a positive and self-fulfilling employee relations environment. Visit us at any of our four locations or at OxfordLumber.com. Barrett Body Shop has moved to its new location on Highway 431 in Alexandria. Barrett has been delivering top-notch collision repair in Calhoun County since 2000. Our skilled team restores your vehicle to pre-accident condition with a commitment to quality and safety. Choose Barrett Body Shop for honest, reliable service. This segment of EAN Local News is brought to you by Waltrip Manufacturing, metal buildings made right here in Calhoun County. Next Monday is Veterans Day, and several area organizations are getting an early start with special events planned for this weekend. Saturday morning at 11, the Carver Community Center in Anniston will host Brunching with Bravery, a special event dedicated to celebrating veterans and first responders. The doors open at 10.45 a.m. The meal will be catered by Dee's Backdoor Kitchen, and music will be provided by Metal and Magic. Tickets are $15 for general admission and free for all veterans and first responders with proper identification. Registration is required, and reservations can be made on Eventbrite. Tickets must be ordered by 9 a.m. on the day of the brunch. That event is strictly for ages 21 and up. Also on Saturday, the Berman Museum will offer a special program called Fallen Heroes of Calhoun County, The Soldiers and the Sacrifice. Berman Museum intern and JSU student Anna Grace Sylvie will remember some of the Calhoun County's fallen heroes from World War I through the Vietnam War, as well as the local Vietnam War veteran who became a hero. This program is included with daily admission and free for museum and garden members. And we'll be back in just a moment. EAN News would like to thank all our commercial sponsors. Go check out our sponsors links in the description below. Thanks for watching us today. We're here every weeknight with the latest news from around East Alabama. You can watch us whenever it's convenient for you. We'll see you back here Wednesday for your news on your schedule.